Hello people of the internet, today we are asking the question, Gauss. Who? Yeah. What is it good for? Indeed, what is the Warframe Gauss good for? To answer this we will take a look at his abilities inside the simulacrum and then take him outside into the live environment to see him in action. Gauss has a passive ability that allows him to charge up his battery while moving. This is the gauge in the lower right hand corner which you will see when we test out his main abilities in a moment. This passive also speeds up Gauss's shield recharge and recharge delay depending on the amount of battery charged. The maximum increase is 80% and this is because without going over the red line, Gauss can hold up to 80% charge at any time. Gauss's first ability is Mac Rush. Burst into a hyper sprint, bowling over enemies and charging the battery. Crashing into solid objects generates a powerful shockwave. Hold to rush continuously. Now the tooltip tells you to hold down the ability to rush continuously, but this can often be very difficult in most missions as there is simply not much room usually. I tend to fall off ledges and bump into walls fairly regularly when using this, however I do still use it to charge the battery and get around quicker whenever there is an open space in front of me. It is perfect for increasing your battery charge fast at the start of a mission. Gauss's second ability is Kinetic Plating. Generate armor plating that converts a portion of absorbed kinetic damage, physical heat, cold and blast into energy. Also protects Gauss from being staggered or knocked down. Damage resistance is relative to the battery level. As the tooltip stated, this is an armor plating that will protect you and grant you energy back when you are attacked. The ability does depend on the amount of battery charge you have however and therefore if you keep moving you can pretty much be invincible. Stop moving for any length of time though and your battery level soon depletes, especially when under fire and in turn your survivability takes a nose down. Gauss is a movement frame though so you should expect to keep moving at all times while playing him, if you can. Gauss's third ability is Thermal Sunder. Siphon kinetic energy from the area, charging the battery and inflicting cold status on nearby enemies. Holding the ability reverses the process, draining the battery and inflicting heat status on nearby enemies. As far as I am aware, this ability has also been updated since release to help strip armor too, so it can be very beneficial when playing with a team at high end and requiring a lot of armor reduction. Solo though, it's not an ability I would use often, preferring to keep my battery level and damage reduction up instead. Gauss's fourth ability is Redline. Push Gauss's battery beyond the red line, supercharging his abilities and setting fire rate, attack speed, reload speed and holster speed into overdrive. When past the red line, bolts of arcing electricity dance periodically from Gauss, exploding en masse when the ability is deactivated. The bolts of arcing electricity can do a small amount of damage on their own. I don't really feel the explosion from deactivating the ability is worthwhile at all, and even the whole arcing electricity part of this ability to be even taken into much consideration. The main bonus I feel you get from this ability is the increased fire rate and attack speed. This makes Gauss an absolute killing machine, dispatching enemies in absolutely no time. I do not think this stacks with Wisps abilities though, as I have played with a few Wisps and having this ability on or off with Wisps spores around did not seem to make much difference, so you may want to test that or bear it in mind if you are in that scenario. Now that we have seen what Gauss can do, why don't we take him out for a run in the live environment? I feel Gauss is absolutely a must have these days for exterminate missions. His speed and survivability make him a no brainer for me. There is nothing better than flying through these missions at full hilt destroying everything in your path. Also because Gauss's kinetic plating can also prevent any status effects you can simply run through the Grenier door security without worrying that you are going to have your energy siphoned away or be knocked down or staggered. He just keeps on going no matter what. He is also good for any other mission that allows you to keep moving, be it mobile defence missions, standard defence, interception and the likes. Gauss is a fun frame to play anywhere to be honest. So that is what Gauss can do. Now you may be wondering how to get your hands on him. I started this series to make beginner videos and maintain to do this to this day. However to get Gauss you are going to have to have put in a good few hours, made your way through the star chart all the way to Sedna and got a good frame that can withstand a good bit of punishment whilst also dishing it out. The reason being is Gauss comes from the disruption mission Kelpie on Sedna. This mission type was introduced with the Jupiter update a few months ago and has now seen the mission spread across the star chart. In the update that brought Gauss the mission was added to Kelpie on Sedna. That however is not the worst part. Gauss's parts all come from rotation C of the rewards in this mission. This means that you can start to receive these rewards from round 3 onwards providing you secure all 4 conduits. Unlike most of the other missions in the game, these do not reset the reward tier after round 4. Instead, once you reach round 4 and above, you will always get a reward from rotation C if you successfully defend 3 conduits or more. In this attempt it took me 6 rounds to finally get the Neuroptics to drop. 
That for me was a lucky run, as I have stayed 7, 8 or even more and not had any part drop. So as I stated, this is not the easiest frame to get, and as such, if you are new to the game, hopefully this will not put you off, but instead give you something to work towards, as it is worthwhile in the end. Once you have done this enough to get the three parts, you can then head over to the marketplace to purchase Garce's main blueprint for 30,000 credits, and get to crafting this warframe. So there you go, we have taken a look at Garce and what it is good for. Should you wish me to make a video like this for any other frame I have not yet covered, then please request it in the comments below and I will see what I can do. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again next time. If you like this video, please consider watching another. Two suggestions will be on screen now. Also, if you have not subscribed already, please do so by clicking the icon in the middle of this screen. Every view and subscription will go a long way to helping the channel grow and in turn will result in more content for you. Thank you and until the next time, goodbye.